Memes Matter, my final message. Subscribe. Hello, this is Meme Analysis, and today we're going to be looking at a very specific meme. Change the world, my final message. Goodbye. The image consists of a kind of cursed image with a sort of starving rat smoking a cigarette. And I saw a thread recently trying to figure out where it's from because it's so strange. And there are previous memes that had utilized this rat, cursed images, but nobody seems to be able to find where it's from, when did it start and just found like little hints of that text littered all over. But I thought that it was pretty influential, specifically on the Spongebob rising up and disappearing, because the rat disappears in this meme. So I thought we'd give it a closer look, because I think it has, you know, a few important undertones that we can utilize to understand memes in general. So, come along with me, and we'll see. Change the world. I think that this meme is a kind of microcosmal drama about the future that every meme experiences. The memes undergo a kind of transitory existence, where they go from funny, then become cringe when they're misused or too popular and outdated, and then ultimately, at the end of their lifetime, they become cursed. The libido has all but sapped away dripped away and coagulated, and all that is left is this kind of bizarre shell. And to think, once I thought this was funny, I thought this was cool, that is this malnutrition, starving rat, smoking a cigarette, barely holding on, giving his final will to the viewer. I think it's a look at every sort of early animal meme these kind of funny animals doing something human. And of course, there are other animal smoking cigarettes memes, but oftentimes it's in a sense that, oh, they're being like us. It's kind of funny. It's kind of cute. But obviously in the sense it's taken to its extreme. The animal has lost a large degree of its animality. It is almost too human, too sick to go on. Several incarnations of this rat meme have utilized Russian text, and I think Russian text is an important aspect of understanding the meme. You can see Russian text utilized, I think, most prominently in the every friend group has these kind of friends. The truck freak, the crazy ass, the fighter, and then this horrible cursed image with Russian text, which when translated says drug, which just means friend, but oftentimes it was just kind of Americanized as a peer. But that gave us kind of the first look at Russian text being used to show an aspect of a meme or that a cursed image was other, other to the person looking at it. That's why cursed images have soon become accompanied by more and more Russian text. There's Good night, Mr. Gator, with the gator on fire, and of course now the rat with Russian text below it. I think that's extremely important. Russia, in the political sphere, has come to take on the role of other, as it did in the 1950s. These memes are kind of following suit. As I was saying, the rat meme is a look at memes in the future, the kind of final experience that every meme has when it is no longer funny, no longer cringe, but cursed. When it has gained all power in its own form to disturb. It's no longer about the way that we put energy onto it. It's almost taking away energy. It's a sink. It's something that's more dangerous because it has power as a disturbing force. Like L. Ron Hubbard's Enneagram or Burroughs' virus. This is the kind of final result of the virus when we see it for what it is. So I thought it would be important to go from the cursed rat 
into another kind of rat, a libidinal rat. So I thought the important thing to do would be to read Nick Land and to read his section, Spirit and Teeth, and specifically the part about rats, to give you a bit of an idea on why the meme specifically the fuck this rat doing here? He got the nuts dough. That is beyond a kind of silly meme. But in fact, rats do have nuts. Through history, the rat has been a libidinal vector. So. This is from... <laughs> he's quoting another book here, but I still think it's an important one. It is a curious fact that long before there could have been any knowledge concerning the dangerous character of rodents as carriers of disease, mankind dreaded and pursued these animals. Sticker has collected a great many references to the subject from ancient and medieval literature, and has found much evidence in the folklore of medieval Europe, which points to the vague recognition of some connection between plague and rats. In ancient Palestine, the Jews considered all seven mouse varieties, akbar, unclean, and as unsuited for human nourishment as were pigs. The worshippers of Zoroaster hated water rats and believed the killing of rats was a service to God, and so on. So we get the image of rats as plague carriers, and if we view the plague in that kind of Freudian sense, we know that it is a sort of supernatural knowledge, a supernatural power, a control of the libido and of drive. From becoming a mouse, and then a black rat, and then a brown rat, or from becoming one sister, and then a pack of wolves, and then a swarm of rats, the eternity of Rambo's inferior race shares its diseases with Nietzsche's deep, deep eternity, for which the very adjective is torn apart by convulsive waves of dissent. An unfathomable abyss of regression or recurrence protracts itself epidemically into Trackle's body. I am all the vermin in history. What becomes clear from this reading, and if you read deeper into it, is that rats are capable of transcending all barriers, permeating all walls, that they are the perfect carriers of contagion. And when you read Thirst for Annihilation, you can see what this virulent strain is that lands rats are carrying, and that is libidinal materialism. And as we know, the libido is stored in the balls. So rats are the carriers of land's libidinal plague, and this meme expresses that perfectly. Now, on to the next rat. He kind of fresh, though. For the final stage of the video, I thought we would look at the exact opposite of the cursed rat from Change the World. We have the rat, or in this case, a squirrel, or cat, or dog, which has retained its freshness. From the very beginning of the classical meme, where we saw, you know, animals doing silly things, or animals doing human things, something that we talked about in the Surreal Doge video. Like, just a quick example is a, a kitten with a sniper rifle. Those will always be relatable. They will always have a degree of humor. No matter how ironic you have become, you can still be amused at an animal doing something funny. It's still relatable. And so, these memes, it's sort of a look at the person and their stream of conscious when looking at the meme. It's like, huh, what is that animal doing wearing pants? He looks kind of fresh, though. It's, it's an amusement. It's, it's not a denial. We're, we're not saying this animal is cringe. It's similar to the meme where it's, you're epic, here's some chalky milk for you. It's a speaking to the viewer, acknowledging you acknowledging what you find funny. Because, in fact, the meme is kind of fresh, though. The animals dressed up doing silly things will always be fresh. Whereas, we're, we're, we're going back. They are fresh at the moment, but there is the potential 
for them to become like the wrath, for the meme that was funny, that puts too much of its value with witches and sorcerers and hate and misery, those are the memes that have the potential of becoming cursed. We might hope that we will always be able to relate to funny animal memes, but the truth might be in the cursed image. The truth might be that every meme will become cursed. There will be nothing that lasts throughout all of human history. Every archetype will shift with the aeons. There will be nothing left of old humanity 10,000 years from now. Who knows? But what we do know is that memes are great signifiers for the emotions, for the deep, repressed feelings of our current aeon. So, if you want to hope to understand people in the way that they feel, and the way that they relate to their own species and to others, take a look at animal memes, what it says about the animal and how it feels about the animal. And remember, memes matter.